Hi everyone, James Mantle here bringing you yet another video. Oh my god, you guys, we are doing another celebrity wig recreation. Yes, an iconic celebrity hairstyle that I'm gonna try and recreate for you folks today. And we're gonna be doing this with the help of Shop Will Beauty. Yes, yes, yes. Now, Will was fabulous enough to send me some PR, so I'm gonna show you folks what it is right now. She sent me a fabulous wig. This is a nice little synthetic wig. It's not gonna be for our video, but I do appreciate it. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. Set her right there for now. And as well as, let's see, what else, what else do I got? What else do I got? What else do I got? Oh, oh, ooh, eyelashes, yes. How fabulous those are. Those are some drag lashes. I love that. Sent me a comb, a nice little teasing brush. I love that, and it's pink. Oh, okay, I see some, what is this? The hell is this? Oh, nails! That is really cute. I love that. How sassy those are, yes! <laughs> and now is the piece de resistance, the whole reason for this video, folks. Shop Will Beauty sent me a human hair wig, you guys. Oh my gosh, celebrity status. I have a human hair wig now, oh my gosh. It's like I'm on a later season of RuPaul's Drag Race, yes. <laughs> oh, gorgeous, beautiful. Look at that color. Now, Shop will be using a picture of this wig, and I thought to myself, this hair would be perfect for Farrah Fawcett. It's that nice, sandy, blonde kind of color. So that's what we're gonna do today. And it also has like a little elastic strap in there, so you know, it's actually detachable, like really crafty. I love that, with hooks and everything, so you can adjust it to your size so it doesn't fall off your head. Okay, now, just take that out because I don't want it to like get lost while I'm styling. All right. This is the wig we're gonna use today. I'm gonna reset and bring in our wig head and we'll start our wig recreation. <laughs> all right, I am back. Now the hair is all on the head. She is pinned down. Now I was scoping online for like, you know, a fair faucet pattern because I didn't quite know how to do it. And I found one on Pinterest, like full on vintage 1970s fair faucet hairdo tutorial. Only like not a tutorial because they didn't have tutorials yet. So. I am going to be going off of that and doing my own little spin to it since like, you know, it's drag and everything and I have to make this, you know, appropriate for my head because it's made for like, you know, ladies of the 1970s. <laughs> so, now I'm going to take a section of hair and I'm going to take a small roller. Now, it is a little ugh, green wire mesh roller like this. And if I remember correctly to look at the pattern and see what it says. I think it says the tilt it back or forward. Well, we'll find out, let's see. Okay. Oh, they're going back, okay, they're going back, okay. Curls are supposed to play with each other to feather the hair back to give that like nice flip back effect. Cause that was like the whole gimmick behind Ferris hair is that it was like, it went in and flared out. So, let's do that again. Yeah, 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 they're all going back. Okay, fabulous, okay. Another blue roller, let's find that. Now what we're doing here is we're gonna leave this whole section like away. Like that's gonna go in the big rollers. It's just these little side sections that are getting the small ones. Farrah Fawcett. Now I adore Farrah Fawcett. Probably best known for her role as, I think her name was Jill something. Yeah, I think her name was Jill on Charlie's Angels. Sabrina, Jill, and who was the other one? Jacqueline Smith wasn't her name. That was the name of the actress. I forget what her name was. <laughs> but yes. It was, you know, Jacqueline Smith and Farrah were the most interesting ones. And then Sabrina, I think, ended up married like some rock singer. I can't remember what her real name was. But they were fabulous. And Farrah Fawcett was like the fun one. <laughs> she like, I remember like ads of her skateboarding and stuff on TV land back when they used to show Charlie's Angels. Ugh, there was like a nice little dip in the 1990s where they're showing a lot of like old 70s TV shows. And Charlie's Angels usually made that rotation. Okay, it was two there. Now, it's gonna look a little absurd, but we're gonna do this now. For the other ones, I'm going to use, it says to use a bigger roller, like a one inch bigger, but since I have a bigger head, I'm gonna go a little bigger than that. So, instead of pink, I'm gonna use lavender. Okay, like that. And then the rest of the head, it looks like they're all going back, but they want you to do like the top sections first, which is interesting because we're supposed to also make a bang as well, so. We'll see how this goes. Like I said, I'm always kind of just winging it on this channel. <laughs> All right, what else does it say to do? Okay, just those two are going back. Well, that's interesting, okay. So these are all going to the side and then these all go back. That's fascinating, okay. This is a complicated roller pattern, good Lord. I think I've ever followed anything that was like this specific. Most of the time it's just like, make them all go straight back. Okay, we're following instructions. And then we're probably gonna stray away from them as soon as, you know, it doesn't start going my way and I'll just start doing my own thing. 
but I at least want to curl the hair the way it wants me to curl it. Okay, now we have the idea of what we're doing. The sides are gonna go straight down like that and the back row is gonna go straight down like that. All right, I'm gonna roll the rest of the wig. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, I am back. Now the hair is steamed, dried, and fully nice and cool to the touch because my steamer has been knocking out my power lately. So I didn't want to risk, you know, junk in the whole video. <laughs> Can't wait to move. All right, now let's start taking our curls down and let's see if this worked. Okay. I haven't done human hair in a while, but yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Let's leave that alone. And just work on taking the rest down. Gorgeous. Now this is a testament to how tight your rollers truly were. Cause you'll get a nice little ringlet curls going. And Farah had looser 70s curls. So the bigger rollers is a little better. Plus my head's big. So I gotta, you know, make room for that. All right, there. That one wasn't as great, but I can still work with it. It's for the body anyway. All right. Okay. Front rollers stay in. Now the back volume, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a teasing brush, the one Shao Will gave me, <laughs> and brush through it quick. And add some teasing to it. Bab. Okay. Great, because there's a little bit of volume in her hair. Hers doesn't have a whole lot, mine will, because, well, honestly, I need it. I can't get around that. And it's gonna do it section by section. And the most of the, for the most part, this hair is all in the molding and the way that you lay the hair afterwards and lots of hairspray. <laughs> More hairspray than you think there actually is. It's supposed to give the illusion that it's like bouncy and free but it's actually very, very structured and everything is like pre-thought out. Like if you look at the hair on Lori Foreman from that 70s show, that was the exact hairstyle reference she had was Farrah Fawcett and Charlie's Angels. Cause this hairstyle was sort of like the Rachel of its time. Oh my God, that's even a dated reference at this point. <laughs> Anyone else remember Rachel? Oh my God, friends. But yeah, it was like basically every era has some crazy hairstyle that everyone tries to replicate and Farrah Fawcett's was one of them where it looked good on most women, but not all, you know, it was a privilege <laughs> to wear the fair faucet hairdo and look good, but not a right. How many of your parents actually had the fair faucet hairdo when you were kids? I want to know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How many relatives do you have that still wear that hairstyle unironically to this day? <laughs> she still exists in the South, much like the mullet, the fair faucet flip has not gone away. And she's actually been updated a lot throughout the ages. Like she gave, made like a brief comeback in like the mid 2000s with like the very long flips in the front, like a variation on the Farah. But hers is very much like cropped to the head, bangs with a nice shaggy flip. Feathered bangs is what they called it. And as I was doing research for this, one of the things I saw that I never knew existed, apparently there was like a Farrah Fawcett styling head. <laughs> Like, you know, the Barbie styling heads with the, like that, it was a fair faucet head, but for styling. Never saw that before, but I found it, I was like, oh my God, ew. It looks nothing like her, and the hair is like this really deep brunette color. Uh, but she was a huge celebrity at that time. Oh my goodness. And she was married to Ryan Reynolds, no, not Ryan Reynolds, Ryan, oh, what was his name? Ryan O'Neal, Ryan O'Neal. She was not married to Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> he wasn't alive yet. But yeah, she's married to Ryan O'Neal, you know, father of Tatum O'Neal, the youngest Academy Award winning actress. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, good stuff. Oh my God, Scandalo. One of the weirdest stories, speaking of Ryan O'Neal, when Fair Fawcett had her funeral, Ryan O'Neal walked into Tatum O'Neal after years of being estranged from her and hit on her because he didn't realize it was his daughter. <laughs> And she was just like, I'm your daughter, you moron. Oh my God, can you imagine? <laughs> but yeah, he was a piece of work. Ryan O'Neal was a piece of work. <laughs> Terrific actor, but yeah. <sighs> There's a lot to unpack there. And him and Farrah Fawcett were together for a long time. My God, since the 70s. I can't remember who she was married to before. It was like enough to where she took on their last name where she was Farrah Fawcett Majors for like a brief period in time. But I can't really say I've seen a whole lot of Farrah's work. Like I know Charlie's Angels, I know The Burning Bed. I watched that one a lot as a kid. 
Lifetime showed that a lot on reruns. You know, the lady that sets her husband on fire and gets off for murder. Oh, so good. Based on a true story. Or um, Myra Brackenridge. I remember that was like one of her first movies she ever did. Where she was the dumb blonde in the Academy with Raquel Welch playing like an evil, evil, evil Academy. Oh, well, actually. That whole plot of that film. I can't even summarize the plot or else this video will get demonetized. Like, it's so much sensitive material. Gore Vidal honestly just was having a field dream when he wrote that one. My God. But definitely look into it. Um, read the book even. It's good to know just to like see what kind of like, you know, weird stuff was in the mind of Gore Vidal back in the 1960s. And they actually have an audiobook that's read by Alexandra Billings. Oh, so good. Check it out. All right, we're getting some good volume here. I'm only going to go to like mid head because we don't really need a whole lot in the back. And if I'm wrong about any information I've given to you today, I'm pretty sure there's some unpaid fact checker in the comment section ready and willing to correct me. <laughs> uh, you kids keep me young. All right, I'm going to tease the rest off camera. I'll be right back and we'll start our style <laughs> out. Okay, now time to take down the front section. Great. All right. Great. This one I'm not too sure about, but we'll see. Okay. Oh no, she came out good. Good, good, good. All right. I love me. All right, here we go. And our last roller. There we go. Okay. Now, how are we going to make you Farah? She's already got some good volume going. We might have to do some hair cutting. We just take a look at my reference photo for Farah. Okay, so she's got sort of an 80s bang going, so we can do that. All right, let's cut some fringe. Oh yeah, there we go, we're getting there. Okay, fabulous. Now we have to play around with the fringe some. Ah, oh my God. <laughs> she looks a bit like a dressy Jan Brady at the moment with these spit curls, these ringlets going on. So we're gonna have to play around with this to dress her up to get the flip going. That's the hardest part of this hairstyle. So let's brush through some of these curls a bit but not overwork it too much. Just get some volume in there. All right, now comes time for the brush out. Now this is what is the most painstaking process of this hairstyle. Getting the brush out right. Oh, okay. All right, so those little rollers in the front actually did work in my favor. <laughs> Let's try to see if I can mimic that. We're gonna try and get that to combine. Okay, she's getting there. The hair gods are like, oh no, no, no. you're gonna make Farah today. <laughs> she is going to make an appearance in your video, so get prepared. <sighs> okay, that side is giving me life. What I'm going to try not to do is overspray it, but this side is giving me all the life right now, okay? Farrah's right there. And this side's a bit more Lori Foreman, like the later seasons when they got lazy with the hair. That's sort of starting to look like it. We just got to play around with it. We also got to clean up our back because the back is all messy. Let's do that. Okay. And really emphasize the curls at the end. Flare them out. And we probably have to do some hair cutting. But that is the perk about human hair. And I'm really trying to like take my time with this so we actually, you know, have a long video. Because <laughs> human hair will go just like that when you start to style it out. Like as opposed to synthetic hair, it'll just sit right where you tell it to. But the downside of that is like you'll get a really bomb hairstyle that first time you do it, but it will not last as long as synthetic hair will. That's the catch-22 with human hair. Like it's gonna be soft and beautiful but you're gonna have to redo it and redo it often. And you're gonna have to do a lot of work to get that hair back to where it was because it's not growing out of a head or anything. So there's no, like none of that scientific stuff that goes into it to make the hair healthy. You're gonna have to do a lot to take care of it. It's basically, you know, like a Tamagotchi. You're constantly gonna have to take care of it and make sure it's cage is clean. Otherwise, next thing you know, you're gonna look over and see it dead in a pile of feces. Oh, okay. Farah is coming along nicely. Now the one problem is just getting the curls not to like spiral up on you. We're trying to get the fan going. Other than that, she is coming along. 
And when she starts looking good, you give it the littlest bit of hairspray if you're doing human. And a lot if you're doing synthetic. But it's mostly a lot of that. And if you're doing synthetic hair, spray it with a blow dryer and get it to like flare out like that. It's sort of like a mixture of like Hedwig and the Angry Inch and Marilyn Monroe. It's like those two combined. It's like, it is the 70s answer to like a bombshell hairstyle. Because every blonde bombshell after Farrah had this hair. And every girl who wanted to see themselves a blonde bombshell had that hair. <laughs> Now I feel just like a lady in the 1970s because it's exactly what they did if they were trying to do this hairstyle. They sat here for hours and just shaped the freaking bangs. And the back, I'm sure, was like, the back be damned. It's going to be whatever it is at this point. <laughs> you see what I'm doing here? To try and get the hair to flare out like that, I'm brushing it against my wrist. Try and fan it the other way. And then once it sits the way I want it to, spray it! I'm shocked at how fast they did that. Wow. Okay, well, let's go through and get volume up, I guess. Good Lord. I didn't expect it to get done that fast. And I have to say, this is so, so fabulous. And the color worked perfectly. And Shop Will Beauty actually does custom hair dyeing on those wigs. I guess human hair wigs are so fabulous. And this one is perfect for Farrah. Oh my God. Like it's exactly what the color she had. Like it could not have worked out more perfectly. All right, now I'm going to do the final touch-ups and I'll be right back with the final results. <laughs> Welcome back. This is the final result. Oh my God, guys, I am Farah. <laughs> I love it. This is so fun and fabulous. Oh my God. Do, 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 do. Oh, yes. I am Charlie's Angels. Yes, it's like Farrah Fawcett when she was replaced with Jordan Ladd. Yes, yes, yes. It's very that. Ooh, yes. Now, this wig is fabulous, but it is just missing one more thing. Jane's Vansil Magical Wig Spray from Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. Let's just give this wig a spritz. Ah, now my hair smells just like cream soda. Available at blackphoenixalchemylab.com. And grooming can be an absolute drag, but thankfully I have Manscaped. Use my code JAMES20 or Mansfield for 20% off your purchase, plus free shipping. It's for your no-no bits. Oh, shh, Manscaped. Now I have to say a huge thank you to Shopwell Beauty for sending me this unit. Yes, yes, yes. This came out perfect. Yes, it's perfect, absolutely perfect for this hairstyle. The best color I could have even imagined. Thank you, my God. Also, I forgot to mention the gifts earlier. She did also send me some glitter. So there's like some biodegradable glitters that she sent me that I'm excited to use for like a hair look or something. Now I would like to take a moment, a then moment where I thank everyone who's tipped me on Venmo. I would like to thank James, DeAndre, Matthew, Sean, Eric, Ras, Caroline, Nancy, Sergio, and Christopher. And I also have some PayPal emojis from Jem, I pronounced it right this time, Catherine, Jessica, Philippa, and Susan. Thank you all so much for the tips on Venmo and the PayPal emojis. And thank you all so much for recommending this hairstyle. Oh my God. I think this came out really, really fun. And actually maybe do some deep research to figure out how I could actually achieve it. And I feel like it actually turned out, yes. I'm curious to see what this is gonna look like in a synthetic wig when I try it later on down the road. But this is really fun and flippable and fashion, yes. Farah. Now don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye. Hit the outro. Click here and watch you transform the worst rated Marilyn Monroe wig off Amazon. Or see me recreate Marge Simpson's iconic hair. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll tie your shoelaces together. So click it.